Hey guys. Hey beautiful people of God. Hey chosen generation. How are y'all doing today? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be woo woo glad in it, right? Glad in it. God is so good. I am in the car, of course. I'm usually in the car a lot of times when I come on here with you guys, either going to work or what have you. But I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to Daily Read with Ni. I am Ni, and I come on daily to give you whatever the Lord has given me, either a word from him or a scripture. Um, and I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My goal on this channel is to encourage you, to lift you up, and to push you into your next level in Christ to do whatever God has called you to do for your purpose. Whatever your purpose is, is to encourage you and to push you into that level to go forth in Him. Um, today is a blessed day. It's a beautiful day. You know, um, we have our life, health, and strength. You know, um, regardless of what's going on around us, we have our life, health, and our strength. And we have so much to be grateful for. You know, we have to go through life thinking like that. No matter what's going on around us in our homes, we have to realize that we are blessed. We are a blessed people. And the enemy can try to make us feel like, you know, we have a lot to complain about. But God is good. In the midst of everything that we go through in life, God is good. He's good. He's faithful. He's a good father. He's good to us. You know, his mercy endures forever. The word of God lets us know. Thank you, God. So yeah, I just wanted to come on real quick and give you what the Lord has given me for today. And the Lord is saying, wait. A lot of us are waiting in a waiting period. And he said, those that wait, they that wait, they that wait on the Lord. We all probably know that scripture, they that wait on the Lord. Um, he shall renew their strength. Um, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. Uh, they shall walk and not faint. faint. And um, that's Isaiah, Prophet Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 40, 31. And also, um, we just want to make sure that when we're in a waiting period, you know, where, whatever it is that we're waiting on for God, everybody's in a period of waiting for something. Um, but guess what? During the waiting period is where God is watching to see how we're handling the waiting period. You know, I was thinking about it when God was speaking to me this morning about coming on and talking about waiting on him. I was thinking about a lot of times um, we can feel like we like little kids, like we want to have a little pout or a little uh, temper tantrum. How we want to basically just fall out and just, you know, get real angry because it feels like it's not coming fast enough. But God said he's looking to see how we're, our reaction is as we're waiting on him. And I know my, my, one of my daughter, I thought about my daughter, my oldest daughter. I remember a lot of times we would be in the store and she was a kid and she wanted something in the store. And if she didn't get it, she would fall straight on the floor and get real stiff, you know, get real stiff. <laughs> and um, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? This, this girl, and she would do it every time if she didn't get something that she wanted. But that's how we are sometimes, even as adults. We want to have a tantrum. We want to. We want to fall out. We want to say, you know, this ain't going my way. This ain't. This is not happening fast enough. God, what what are you doing? Like, you know, I've been waiting this long. What, what's going on? But God told me to come on and let you know that they that wait on the Lord shall he shall renew their strength. And in due time, he has and he will. It's going to show. It's going to manifest. It's already done. But in due time. Want, you're going to see the answer to your prayer in due time. But it's a waiting period right now. See, our ways are not uh, like the Lord's ways. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So we can't rush him and push him to do anything. <laughs> we can't rush him to do anything that we feel as though it should be right, right now. Right now. He's going to move in his timing. His timing for everything. You know, he knows how he's, what he's doing in us in the meantime while we're waiting. What are we doing while we're waiting? Though we should be staying in the word of God, uh, meditating on the word of God, drawing closer to the word, to the, in the word of God, and drawing closer to God, spending time with him, you know, in the waiting period. But we want to show and let God see that we are 
sincere. It's not about, you know, okay, I want to get this, I want to get that, I want this. But what is your motive? Is your motive to get that and to get there and then to just throw God to the side? What is your motive to what you're trying to, what you're waiting on God for? You know, um, but they that wait upon the Lord. He said, let them know, they shall renew their strength. Your strength is being renewed as you wait on him. You shall mount up as wings as eagles. I love that bird, eagles. And run and not, you shall walk and not get weary. Walk and not get weary. Run and not faint. Walk and not faint. I'm sorry. Run and not get weary. Walk and not faint. I'm sorry, you guys. But a lot of you guys that are familiar with that scripture, you would know. You know that scripture. And it is. When you get a chance, look it up. It's Isaiah 40, 31. As well as... um. Psalms, Psalms 30 and 5. I want you to look that up as well. Psalms 30 and 5. Uh, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Because a lot of times it feels like it's, it's so long of a waiting period when you're waiting for something. And you, you know, a lot of us have weeped and cried and, you know, waited for this, that, and the other. Some people have waited for spouses. Some people are still waiting for spouses. Some people are waiting uh, to have a baby. Some people want to give birth to an actual baby and they've had issues some people want um just to be reunited with their children uh they you know dysfunction and, and growing up and they want to just be reunited you reunited whatever the area is god is saying continue to wait on him and continue to believe and continue to thank him in the meantime and do what you need to do to stay focused on him while you're waiting in that waiting period that you're growing and that you're um being nourished in the word of God daily daily um I know um it's not easy waiting on God I tell you it, it's sometimes I'm like oh my gosh Lord can you can we speed it up and he's like no just wait sometimes when I'm driving in the car and I see um somebody I'm trying to get to where I'm going and, it, and the traffic is slow and, it, and this person is going so slow around um, in front of me and I'm like oh my gosh really and God is saying, be patient. He'll stop me, right? Be patient, be patient. You know? So the Holy Spirit will let us know when we are rushing and we're doing things too fast. He'll stop us and he'll say, whoa, whoa, you know? Slow it down, slow it down. But we have to be willing to listen. We have to be willing to be obedient to what the Holy Spirit is saying. Um, but I just wanted to come on and encourage you that things that you've been waiting for God to do, God wanted me to let you know that he's doing it. It's already done. But what are you doing in the waiting process? What are you doing? Are you preparing yourself for whatever it is that you're waiting on? And make sure that your motive for what you're waiting on is pure. That you're not going to just get to that point and get what you desire and just, you know, half, halfway serve God, halfway do this for God. Because God wants our whole heart. No matter how much he blesses, you know, material things are nothing. That's nothing. This Heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word, the Bible says, will stand. So this nothing on this earth, nice things, it's nice to have nice things, but this stuff is not going to last. You cannot take anything with you in this life. <laughs> None of this stuff in this life we can take with us. So it's nice to have nice things, but at the same time, uh, it's not, you know, what, what we should be living for. Our main goal should be living to please God and to make sure that our soul is right so that when we leave here, we have eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you for these, your people today. I thank you, Father, for what you're doing in their lives. I thank you, Father God, that you are allowing them to prepare themselves as they wait on you, as they're in this waiting period. Let them know, God, that you are with them and that you are working things out and that they don't have to rush, but they can prepare themselves for the things that you have for them. You have great things in store for them, God, great things that are about to happen, but they need to be in position and they need to prepare themselves spiritually, financially some in every area i thank you god for giving them direction and showing them how to prepare themselves and how to stay focused on you in jesus name and i give you the praise i give you the glory and the honor in jesus name amen well guys i love you guys so much i'm going to get ready to go i'm driving like i said in the car but i i do appreciate you guys i'm phone is moving all around i appreciate you guys i want to say again welcome 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 to all 
the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Daily Read with me. Um, you're going to see great things happening on this channel. God is moving great. He's moving, doing some great, great things. And he's moving by his spirit. Um, it's not me, but it's the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit gives me the strength to get on here every day. Being as though I'm a working woman, I'm still working. And, you know, to come on and to sacrifice and to give my give up myself. Um, it's a love that I have for Christ. And it's to change lives. It's not anything of myself. I don't get the glory. God gets the glory for everything. So I just wanted to come on and say, welcome again to you. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the kind words and all the encouragement. Because we are helpers one to another. Well, I will talk to you guys real soon. Be encouraged and know that God is with you. And he is working everything out in your waiting period. He is working it out for you. Remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. I love you. God bless.